Oh, welcome back to Haiku the Robot. Uh, it's a new day. I have been recording since I woke up, pretty much. I took a little break just now to eat. Monster Train is finished, and I'm going to see how much progress I can make on Haiku now. I have been saying I wanted to sit down and put some time into this game, and so I shall do so now today. Now that Monster Train's all done, I've been looking forward to it. I've really been wanting to sink my teeth back in and do some big exploring. So, we shall. I think today I want to go to the Blue Zone and go look around there. I don't think I can go up in the fire zone. Uh, hang on. Hold. Uh, what did I... I got this, right? Heat drive. Protects the heat gauge from overheating. When I go into the heat zone, I'm going to want that. Right? But I think I'm going to Watertown now, so let's just roll with this. I hope you're doing well. I am... I don't know how many episodes I have in the in the tank right now. Or two. I think I have like oh yeah, that goes down. I think I have two or three episodes recorded ahead of time. I'm not really quite paying attention, to be honest with you. I'm not sweating this series. This has just been like what I play when I feel like playing something. I I haven't been in a position where it's like, oh I have to record this this game. Oh yeah. I can just walk in water. I haven't been in that position of, oh, I have to record or else I'm not going to have enough because I've been playing a lot of it. Just whenever I have time. It's really easy to do these 20 minute videos, too. Where it goes, oh yeah, I have time right now. I'm going to go sit down and do a little bit of this. I'm having a good time with this game. I'm really enjoying it. It's been inspirational to me because I feel like I could make something like this myself. Oh, he can go down. Does he go up? He does not go up. Haha, -ha, loser. And I feel like I could make something like this. Right, I remember. I just went straight across here and then reached the new area. Oh, he's got a bomb in it. Of course, the fish that looks like a big bomb has a bomb in him. You know what? That is extremely logical. You know, I kind of... I, I have less of a backlog than I anticipated, I guess, with this game. I felt like I recorded a lot more, but I guess I don't really have... I haven't had a whole lot of time for it. Unfortunately, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it either way. I'm not sweating it, you know, it's not worth it. So, I gotta say, I was worried I wasn't gonna have enough money in this game and I was gonna have to spend some time grinding, but there is plenty of money in this game. He can go in the water. Oh, but he can't get under here. Hee hee. Gotcha. Yeah, definitely the first looks are going on hold for a while because I am... That, that is like a little old punching bag thing. First looks are going to go on hold until I'm back. I was thinking about maybe trying to get some done, but I... Oh, I can do this. Hold. I need you over here, please. No, I crit him. No. Alright, fine. We can go around the boring way. I don't crit this guy twice and I get hit. Yeah, yeah, sure, video game. What are you? Huh? Hey, wait. Home? Oh god, he's coming back! <laughs> they seem to keep their momentum a little bit. I thought he was gonna come to rest. I was incorrect. Oh! I panicked when I pressed Z. Oh, those explode on contact. I thought I would have time to just like. I have it bounce off of me, but no. As soon as the bomb hits you, it blows up. High tech. Alright, onward. I could have skipped all of this if I was good at the game and got my bounce jump correct, but I'm not. So, here we are. Map updated. What are we looking at here? Ooh. It's wet here. Crazy. Now we can shortcut on back. Uh, oh, there is something to the right, actually. No fear. I I don't... Like, I have so much money. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna run into enemies and die for fun. I'm gonna head over here. That snail has a lot of water in it. I definitely can do this. You just gotta have faith, you know?
Man, it's like I go here, hold, hold. No, maybe I can't do this. Maybe this is somewhere we come back to later. More firmly affirming my feeling that we are going to get a double jump at some point. God, I love blinking through enemies like that. It looks so cool. No, wait, I got stuck on the wall, no. I just jumped into the wall, that's not, that's not the game's fault, that's my fault. I do, I feel like this game more than any other game of its type so far that I've played, which is to be fair, a very few, uh, it does not give me a whole lot of insight on where to go. Like, the game is doing a lot of uh, implied storytelling, I guess. Or not implied storytelling, but implied directing. Is how I would put it more accurately. Like, oh, hey, I, I'm exploring. I wonder what's over here. Oh, here's an area I can't go because of the worth water. And then I get this thing that makes me need the water, and then I go, oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to go there next. But I definitely feel like I'm spending a lot of time lost in this game, which is not a bad thing. I do kind of like just opening up the map and going, where haven't I gone yet? Sorry, taking a quick drink break there. We're gotta keep the voice lubricated. Does this fish? Yeah, fuck off, Mr. Fish. Oh, you can hit the fish. You see that? Oh, you got me. You can actually kill the fish. What a world. I just look, I just... I like... Oh my god, there was another fish. I like chaining the blinks. It feels cool. And then you overheat yourself. Fun. Uh huh. Can't kick around the dead bodies of my enemies? Man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Don't drop on me, young man. We have the explosion that I'm supposed to use for this. Now, there is standing water here, which is going to go somewhere. However, I don't want to go down yet. I just, so why did I blow it up? That's an excellent question. Like, truly, what an apt question. I don't know. But I... Realized it too late. You see that bubble there? You think that's just a... I mean, I gotta see, right? Is that just a doodad, or is that a real thing? Right, wait. Bubble me. Bubble me. What? Oh, it's just a doodad. Okay. Oh, maybe I could jump into it or something. You can hit those, okay. Extremely shocked that there's no fish in this water. Now, aesthetically, I do have to say I like the water area a lot more than the fire area, but... What are you doing, buddy? Well, again, don't mind me. I've come... I come here to relax and ponder over the clues I've found so far. Movement of the water against the turbines makes this quite a serene spot. Okay, I'll humor you. Some pieces of the puzzle just don't fit, fix the picture. Why was one of the vault seals broken? What was that body that I found? Why does the virus possess programs but not destroy them? I've made it this far, I'm not gonna give up now. Kinda weirdo. Me too, honestly. I feel like I probably sequence broke seeing him. Hey, do you see... Oh, wait a minute. Do you see the, like, grass on our feet? Oh, we're going into the grass town. I've been down here before, I think, once or twice. Yeah. I have also made it this far, mister. I don't know why you would not include me. Also, I actually lied to you. I don't want to come here because I want to go down that big hole. I feel like I was not supposed to keep exploring when I saw the big hole. I was supposed to fall down it. Oh, he's gone. However, I'm here to go explore what's in the big hole now. You know where I'm going. The big hole, that's, uh... I would never make a joke at basically of any kind here, because that would just be disgusting and not very cool. And I'm sure you would never do the same. Or you you would do the same in that you would never make the joke, or you would never do the same. I don't know. Maybe you would. I'm not a big fan of those, you know, those kind of jokes. Primarily because I think they're just overplayed. But your humor sense may vary. You can laugh at whatever you find funny. I guess. I'll just judge you for it. I'm gonna kill these fish. Oh, the fish are gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my whole health bar to these fish for fun. It's a good time. It's a little fun prank. I kill them and then I just take a million damage for no reason because I think it's fun. You see there's like a particle happening in the wall here? Oh, uh, it's probably just water dripping, but... 
I wonder if that, oh shit, I wonder if that implies to me that I'm supposed to be able to get in there and that's a secret area. These things have 5 HP? What the fuck? That's crazy, there's so much HP. I was gonna say this game would, I feel like I would be struggling much more if this game didn't have, back if I can jump up here, if this game didn't have self-repairing, but I'm pretty sure like every game in this genre at this point has some form of heal yourself mechanic to it. Where you just sit there and heal. Hey, mister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when will I learn? Tell me, brain. When will I learn? Also, you're definitely able to just jump back out of here. This is not like a doomed pit. The crits are so scary. Because I just pop them out. And then... That's, these things actually pop out so fast. What? I thought I had time. I guess I should be, uh, you know, I'm chilling. I'm taking it easy here. I'm not playing this one super close to the chest. I should probably, oh, spooky. Remember in the last episode when I talked about spiders? Don't worry, video game spiders don't bug me that much. Typically. Well, they're kind of more like crabs, it feels like, where they have these shells. This is definitely a fake wall. Think you can hide that from me? Our, synth our synthetic bodies are susceptible to radiation. It destroyed our homelands as it spread through the water. We seek refuge in Arcadia, but we are not welcome here. Is this like a message from the robots before uh, the humans all died, maybe? Maybe Arcadia was a human town? I don't really remember. I wasn't paying close attention. Maybe these guys are the synthetics, and I'm just killing a bunch of innocent spider people. That's also possible. You know, I feel like I've had a pretty good grasp on what everything in this game is. I have no clue what these weird punching bags hanging from the ceiling are. I'm gonna let one of these guys walk away and see what he does. Alright, he just walks. No fish allowed. Thanks, buddy. No! Alright. <laughs> you thought I was gonna fall, but it was actually just a joke I played on you. A little, little prank that I played on you there. Made you think I was gonna fall after doing a cool move. I would never do that. I would never do a cool move that is uh, not even that hard to pull off. And then fall immediately after. That would be, don't be ridiculous, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck you, bird. I have moved on from banking. Destroy all bankers. These are some big helmets. Do you think the robots might just be really tiny compared to humans? Like, maybe we're nano machines. Because those are some big helmets, man. Also, you guys hit me, so there's no... It's on site. There are no... No, no mercy. No mercy as you have attacked me. Does this look, uh... Does this look like it's suspicious to you? Many things that you can notice here. I gotta say. It's lit up. Uh, drop in. Hmm, oh, indeed. Oh. These guys are in helmets. I see, they're in diving helmets now. Okay. He's got a little shockwave attack. I assume... I, I fought a boss like this, of course, in... Hollow Knight, where you fight one, and then you fight two, and then you fight three, right? I remember getting smoked by that boss for a while. I'm gonna try to sneak a little Healy in here. Oh yeah, here's two. Simple pattern, but you gotta fight two, attract two of them, and they get a little bit off. Uh, and it can get a little bit tricky. Also, that guy can pop. I thought I was reasonably safe over there. One of them I think is pretty low as well, though. Looks like they're on an alternating pattern here, where one of them is doing flips. Oh, I see. And then he hops into a new new whip. Ooh, that's kind of tricky, actually, when they're doing... They're on the same pattern. I see they alternate. So it's going to be leapy, leapy. Barely. Double, double bounce. Slash, slap. Jump. Jump. I'm... I have to remember, I am so cool and handsome at the video game, so I can't lose. You see. Because I got a, I got a reputation to uphold, you know?
Yeah, no problem. I'm focusing here. The blink through enemies does make life a lot easier, I have to say, as I blink right into them for fun. I'm going for the greedy heal. I should not do it. Maybe get it here. Oh! I just walked into him. What? I dashed, man. You have to believe me. I dashed. I pressed it. I walked up and I dashed. You have to believe me. No, I didn't just walk into him and die for fun. You gotta believe me, man. The game robbed me there. That was on my ship, by the way. That's Oh, that's sick. I can't believe it. I walked up to him. I dashed. I dashed. You have to believe me. Also, it does not feel like he should shockwave that first attack to me, but uh, I'm not in control here. Okay, okay. I mean, it should be no problem now, because I took a bunch of free damage learning what the shockwave is, and then I... See my bounce get fucked up there? Or my jump, rather? I, like, jumped and bounced off of something, it looked like. I think it's actually scarier when they're alternating. I think maybe I could kill him in there. But no, I'm like in the transition. Maybe I could kill him? Nah. But I could up, up jump these guys and cheese them. This mechanic seems really good at stopping bosses from doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh! I had no choice. Oh. Don't heal. This is a this is a classic case of I'm gonna try and heal. When you're going through hell, keep going. And if, you, if it comes back, uh, it was meant to be. Oh, not my time. That time I got my dash when I wanted it. Very cool. That felt good. Okay, we got another one down. Oh, nice. Damn, I was probably pretty close to finishing that fight then. It didn't drop anything, though, so I'm probably about to walk into a new room where the fight continues, right? That's how I feel. Give me round two. I know there's going to be round two. I, it didn't drop anything. It's very suspicious. Can I do this? Can I, like, get the jump here? Hold. Oh. I got an achievement. What's this? Oh. thought this was a buddy. Was that just one of these guys? That must just be one of the ones that I left behind. No, what? What the hell? What the? What do you think you're doing here? That is the enemies that I ran past. Anyway, as I was. I'm trying to like just get on the tip of it here. I think you can do it. Oh, maybe if I maybe if I hold. Hmm. I don't think so. I think maybe they're just about to give me double jump anyway. So I'll stop. There has to be some reward for beating that boss fight, right? Surely. Surely I'm about to get something cool. Or maybe it's going to be phase two. I'm feeling it, man. I'm waiting for it. Is this a jetpack, actually? Hold Z to jump while in air. Let's see. Let me out. Ah, yeah. There it is. I was... I've been waiting for double jump. Here it is. I knew we were gonna have to get it eventually. I was so close to getting this so long ago, and I just never came over here. Well, now we're gonna have to walk the entire map again to see what I missed. That I was supposed to get with double jump, you know? Is this a... There's a little gap. Auto modifier. I'll check it out when we get back. Life is so much nicer when you give me double jump in video games, I gotta say. Well, they can still hit me. Give me double jump in my platformers. I was gonna say it took me a while to get this, but I think that's more of a me problem than it is a game problem, to be honest with you. I didn't know where it was, and I was just exploring casually. Ah, yeah, remember this guy? Oh, you're a friend. Hello, outsider. Oh, yo, this is like a modulated voice, you hear that? Oh, outsider, did you just crawl out of that dark place? Oh, we don't go down there. We sealed it off a long time ago. Those bizarre machines are filthy dirty. We wouldn't cut off their access. They would block the clean flowing water. Oh, if we wouldn't cut off their access, they would block the clean flowing water. 
Hope you didn't bring any dirt up with you. It's supposed to be our job to keep these water ducks clean. Hmm. Robo snail. Are you a buddy? Snail bot burrow. How exciting. Ooh, an outsider. Please tell me what it's like outside of the burrow. Oh no, the elder told me I'm not allowed to speak to outsiders. Not until I'm old enough. Oh, so these guys aren't getting fucked up by the end of the world because they live in a secluded group. I see. That's cool. Let me go talk to your elder. Hey, shit sucks out there, man. Oh, the eternal equation that guides us. We are reclaimed, our service is seen, and we remain devoted. Mona jekute nawe tejim mona bilijou fojem. Alright, well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, see you later. That is extremely weird. Not at all what I thought we were going to talk about here. Have fun. I feel like I've seen someone speak in that way before, but I don't remember where or whom. Yeah, they definitely do kind of sound like they're saying it. Oh, hey. There's more. Ah, here's the first snail we saw. I gotcha. Take a quick look at the map. Elm crawlers is what those enemies were called. And they were like, so those guys are like, they're they're on the bad side of the law. Or they're, they're the ones getting fucked over. The snail bots should have helped them out. I see what you're doing here, video game. I think in this episode, actually, I remember saying I was going to go run around and look at all the character markers. And I just completely forgot about that ambition. Well, that's okay. Uh, we're probably going to do a lot of retreading in our next episode because I'm just going to go fuck around for a little while. I got double jump now, man. What am I supposed to do? Not go fuck around? But as I often feel I end these videos doing, I'm going to make a pilgrimage over to the train, which is uh, far away. But we're going to try. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go up here now because I bet I can go up there. I bet I can get up there now and do whatever I didn't do last time because I can double jump now. No. Frig you, buddy. Leave me alone. I'm jumping here. I'm platforming. So far, these uh, upper fish mine type enemies are definitely my favorite. Passive brothers. They don't fight me. I don't fight them except for when I want money and I am a menace to society, in which case I do fight them. But that's a, that's a me problem. That's not a them problem. Also... Uh, you may be inclined to ask, oh, well, what about their feelings? To which I would, of course, respond, they are robots in a video game. They have double no feelings. Mm -hmm. Is this an elevator? Oh, that's what this area is. It's like a bit, this is the way that goes up, I see. And this takes us up to the factory. Right, right. Oh, that takes you far up. I want to go back down. Because it looked like there was more to explore in there, actually. You know your boy loves to explore. Oh, I'm pouring the rest of my soda out. Into a cup, not onto the ground, of course. I can go wander around here now. I can jump in the water. Oh, and more accurately, what I can do is I can get around these corners here. What's the secret behind the waterfall video game? What's it gonna be? Chip socket. Oh, a blue chip socket. Cool. Can't turn into a ball in the water, sadly. There was something behind the waterfall, though. Very exciting. Walking through this water does feel a little bit like walking through soup, though. Why do I know what walking through soup is like? Well, first of all, I don't remember asking you. I can definitely make this. I just have to be more patient. I just have to, I just have to wait. You know, gotta sit here. Gotta wait. For my heat to go down. Do some fun jumps, get a few splashy splashes in. There you go, what does it say? For momentum, our power is cultivated. As long as the water keeps flowing, our systems will remain online. Alright. Whatever you say, buddy. And then I want to go up here. I mean, I guess I am just going to end this video by doing a lot of exploring instead of going to where I said I was going to go. But that's okay. I actually thought I would make that. Hmm. Let's make sure I don't die here. Because that would not be very cool. In this video with me just dying and having to go get my shit back. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'll probably actually go to this art station and then I'll record. I'll end this episode and go record another one, actually. That's what I'm feeling like makes the most sense here. Moving around in this game has become very fun. I definitely remember at the start feeling like I didn't like it all that much, but it's there now, I feel. There's a train station down here. What the hell? Even better. I had a feeling there would be a train station somewhere around here. I just missed it. Hey, lady. Like to read on the train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me buy a capsule fragment. You got it. Like sweeps the local area for any obstacles. Packs the type of metal found. In I mean, I kind of want to grab the magnet. Or increases health. Increases for more sword swing speed. Let's grab this. I think I should have enough for a health upgrade. Well, I never did introduce myself. He's the welder. Last one. Yes. Please upgrade. Oh, yeah. That's more uh, orange juice, baby. This like new. This guy actually does have a voice. Do you hear it? Hold on. Listen to this. Ready? He really does say this place used to get so busy. How about that? Alright, let me... I'm gonna make my changes here, if you don't mind. So I'm gonna get rid of... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the sword extension for the sword swing speed. How different is it? Oh, it's actually pretty a bit different, but... I think I'll be okay. And we got a new blue slot, which we can do... Reduce drops on spirit on death. Repair faster. Remove heat more efficiently. Probably remove heat more efficiently, right? Oh, I already have these two in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll grab... Uh, I'll grab quick repair then. Do you have anything cool for blue? I guess I just take plus one HP, actually. There's not really a reason to not. Also, I just got an achievement for 50% uh, of all of these. So that was our, that was our halfway point. Very cool. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to go top right, by the way. And if there's nothing over there, then we're going to go probably the heat zone. Or maybe we'll go explore the green zone. One of those two. But for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.